New details now following a family tragedy. Police say a Coast Guardsman shot and killed his wife and son before killing himself. He also shot his eight-year-old daughter, and she's fighting to survive tonight. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at Nick's Children's Hospital with the details. Ted? Jim and Rudebe, that eight-year-old girl, is in critical but stable condition here at the hospital tonight. She is the lone survivor of this family tragedy. Neighbors began rolling as police arrived in his homestead neighborhood to a disturbance at the Prestnar home. That noise appeared to be the final gunshot after a terrifying series of blasts. I heard like, uh, uh, like pow, 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 pow. Investigators say Coast Guard electronics technician John Prestnar shot his wife, two children, and then himself. His wife and seven-year-old son were killed. His eight-year-old daughter survived. The whole thing stunned neighbors. He had any things about them. They seem like quiet family. Friends who live nearby tell us the family was just a normal family that even last week they were out there putting up their Christmas decorations and their kids would normally play outside with other children in the neighborhood. Police tell us it was Prestnar's mother-in-law who alerted neighbors that something was wrong, that her daughter told her to run for help when the gunfire began. She banged on doors. The woman was screaming, but very loud, help, help, please, somebody help, somebody help. It's really sad, you know. Uh it's supposed to be a joyous occasion, and you know you got bodies being put in body bags. So experts tell us domestic violence incidents normally go up during the holidays. Typically, I get about 30 calls a day for help. I'm getting about 80 calls a day for help during this time of the season. Somi Ali is an advocate for domestic violence survivors and the founder of the nonprofit No More Tears. She urges people to do something if they suspect domestic abuse. I think as a society, we're apathetic. We don't want to get involved. We deem it to be not our business. And, you know, there are a lot of signs. We need to reach out. We need to get involved. We must get involved. We must, must try to get them help. And the big question tonight, what led up to this family tragedy? At this point, police are not saying. Live in Miami, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.